Hello Scorpio, it's Milady from Milady's Way Tarot and I'm coming to do your weekly love reading for the week of July 30th through August 6th, 2018. The cards that I'm using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish and I'm closing off with my Animal Totem Tarot by Lisa Robertson. I like to thank everybody for like, share, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. If you like a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, let's get this show on the road. Alright, what's going on with the Scorpio? Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Weekly love reading for July 30th through August 6th. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Okay, so it seems like someone wants freedom from a situation. All right, so it seems like somebody is wants freedom from a situation, but it's like um something that they really want to don't want to get rid of so it's like somebody's giving something to get something else okay so it seems like this choice is not a good choice and it seems like um like luck is not with you right now all right let's see what this um future fortune reverse is about Give me one card, please. All right, so it seems like whatever the situation is that's happening, it's been going on for a long time. And I feel like it's been going wrong for a long time. All right, so it seems like we got a manipulator here. Somebody very controlling and... um. I feel like me. I keep hearing abusive, so it seems like somebody is definitely in an abusive relationship here. Somebody doesn't want to leave the situation, but they know they have to. Okay. Let's see. Get one card for this freedom. Give me one card for the freedom for the Scorpio. Okay, so. I feel like somebody wants to be free, but they feel like they have too much stuff to stay there for, but. I'm pretty sure you'll be fine. That's what we all think when we're being manipulated and controlled. You know, we think we can't do anything or get any better. But that that's just the program that you have right now. I mean, that'll be over soon. As soon as you leave. Okay. All right. What is this sacrifice about? Give me one card for the sacrifice for the Scorpio. All right, yeah, so it seems like things are getting ready to happen fast, okay? Oh, goodness, but I do see success here, so you're going to move. It's going to be weird for a little minute, but I feel like, I mean, this kind of stuff takes time because it seems like it's been like at least a year or two of this person at least programming that you're not good enough in your head you know and now you're finding the strength to leave the situation but you feel like you're losing something so it's gonna take some time to realize that you didn't lose anything you you gained your life back okay scorpio scorpio all right so this is the homeland card. So it seems like somebody's getting ready to move back to either um, their homeland or just back where um, where their family is, family and friends. Okay, and there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, I feel like some of you guys may be moving in with um, co-workers. But whoever these people you're moving in with, I feel like you really trust them. And you can. These people are very trustworthy. And you see that they're protective too. Okay, so if you're feeling scared, they're definitely going to protect you from this monster. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. 
All right, so it seems like this person has um, just got some kind of social difference. Could be race, religion, um, or just some uh, gender that you're not used to dating, okay? And I feel like that what that's what made you, like, stick into this situation so long. It's just the thought of having something different or new, you know, or just not like everybody else. And it made you stick in there into the point where, you know, you're getting, like burned and you didn't really realize it okay you just chopped it up as a social difference all right so it seems like this person stopped doing stuff for you okay and it seems like this person didn't have any value uh, in you you know they didn't feel like you were good enough and this this made you start feeling like this so it's time for time for you to go get that back and you got some people some strong people behind you to help you too all right Let's go. What's going on with the cancer? Cancer, cancer, cancer. Weekly love reading for July 30th through August 6, 2018. All right, so it seems like some of you guys are still stuck. Like, what am I going to do, you know, after this betrayal and heartbreak, you know? But you'll be fine. But somebody, some of you guys are definitely deep in thought about this. Okay. And I feel like some of you guys may be scared too. Because um, you don't want any conflict. Okay. But I would just make sure you call the police. Okay. Scorpio, Scorpio. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. All right. All right. So we got the uh, chariot card reversed. So that means to um, things are going to be moving slow at first. Um, but it's mostly about not getting revenge on this person. Because when you get out of a crazy situation and you look back at all the crazy stuff this person did, it turns into anger. And you want to go put your hands on somebody. But. Don't do it. I don't send nobody to do it either. <laughs> Alright, so this is the judgment card. It's like, yeah, the, avoid revenge because this person is going to have to pay. They're going to pay. You know, karma is real. Higher powers definitely work for you. So, it's just like, let life happen to them. Nothing good happens to nasty people. Okay. Scorpio. All right, so it seems like yeah, you might be you're working real hard to uh, get out of this situation, but like things don't happen as fast as you want them to. But I feel like you are definitely you can see the light at the end of the tunnel. All right, let's see what this chariot card reversed is. Give me one card for this chariot card reverse for the Scorpio. All right, yeah, so it seems like somebody's definitely getting ready to go start something new. And it seems like somebody's going to just take a leap of faith to see what they can do, which is a, a great thing. Because to build up enough confidence to do that is amazing after this kind of situation. All right. What's this judgment revert? I mean, judgment card about? Give me one card for this judgment card for the Scorpio. All right. Queen of Swords, Revenge. Okay, so it's just like somebody definitely has revenge on their mind. So it just, I mean, of course, I don't really know you, so I can't tell you what to do. But it's just negative energies surrounding this, you know. Just let the negative stick to the person who uh, is doing all this bad stuff, you know. But once you do this revenge stuff, then you got karma after you, you know. You don't, you don't want that. Let's get one more card for this Queen of Swords. What's this Queen of Swords about? One card, please, for the Scorpio. Oop. I'm going to get one and see what flipped. Okay, so it seems like somebody may have, um, could have had somebody lose a baby, okay? Or made somebody sacrifice a baby. Or somebody could have, um, gotten someone else pregnant. But whatever this is... Somebody feels like this is big enough for them to get revenge. Okay. 
Okay, so we got the Five of Pentacles here. So it seems like someone, I feel like in one case, it could have been like some something going on with a new beginning or um, a baby outside a relationship or somebody made them, made you um, terminate a pregnancy. Uh, but here, I feel like somebody might have stolen a lot of money. Okay, spending all your money to try to keep that control of you. Okay, but it seems like you probably, you need to avoid fighting, okay? Mm. All right, what is this? All right, King of Pentacles. So, yeah, I feel like this person may get ready to steal a lot of money from you guys, from some of you. All right, yeah, so it seems like with a false love or for somebody coming in acting like that they're there for you, but they really just want money. All right. Let's see what this Eight of Pentacles. One card for the Eight of Pentacles for the Scorpio. All right, so we got the Ten of Pentacles here. So it seems like somebody's working real hard for a lot of money so they can go make this new start. But be prepared, okay? And and watch out because now I'm starting to feel like it's connected. Somebody might have took something new away from you. And I feel like somebody could have could be about to take your money so you can't leave or take something of yours so you can't leave so you might want to make sure this person doesn't know you're leaving as well okay oh we got the magician reversed here um the magician reverse is um a manipulation for the most part but it's also like somebody may not be successful in doing what they want to do but that's only i feel like if you reveal what you're doing they're going to stop it you know so don't like i'm gonna leave you you know this is one of those situations where you just go and don't tell nobody what you're doing tell anybody what you're doing instead of these people who are waiting for you to come over here this people or organization whoever they are um but I feel like just finish getting your money together and leave quietly. But that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you'd like a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, thanks for watching.